And so when you think of LMAX Group, what are the other exchanges outside of the digital exchange? You got foreign currency, are there specific geography focuses, certain types of trading pairs? Like why are there four other exchanges? Yeah, good question, actually. And I wonder whether that will translate into crypto going forward. So basically, we operate three exchanges in London, one in New York, one in Tokyo. So in FX specifically, you operate, nothing ever happens on trading desks anymore, by the way. It's all algorithmic. It's the silent assassin now, which are algos trading with each other. And typically, they're in data centers, like the one we call NY4, so the New York center. Um, is actually in New Jersey, right? So the one in London is actually further outside West London is in a place called Slough. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly where the Tokyo one is, TY3, but so the reason for that is latency, right? Very simple, speed of light stuff. If you want to trade Euro in, in New York, you're best to trade with other customers in New York or in the vicinity, right? So there's fast links to Chicago, for example, from there. Likewise, if you want to trade in London, it's probably best that you trade there. So it's ultimately where people hold risk and where you exchange risk. So it takes the round trip time is around 60 milliseconds between London and New York. So that speed matters in foreign exchange. And you hear a lot about HFTs or we would call them non-banks or prop trading firms. So if you ever read, ever read Flash Boys, you'll learn all about it. So. I wonder how, so that's really the, that's really how FX evolved. And I mean, I didn't invent that center. It's just, those are where the risk centers are, London, New York, and Tokyo. I happen to think Singapore will probably take over as the Asian hub uh, a decade from now in, in FX. And you try and service those customers. Most of the global players, so most of the major banks and prop trading firms will trade in all three centers.